right now, Congress should do what's in the best interest of the economy and the American people. Uh, and that's move beyond this manufactured crisis and work together to focus on growth, jobs, and providing the vital services that Americans all across the country depend on, including the services that FEMA provides. Uh, I heard a lot of talk over the weekend that uh, the real problem is, is that uh, the President will not negotiate. Well, let me tell you something. Uh, I have said from the start of the year that I'm happy to talk to Republicans about anything related to the budget. There's not a subject that I am not willing to engage in, work on, negotiate, and come up with common sense compromises on. What I've said is that I cannot do that under the threat that if Republicans don't get 100 percent of their way, they're going to either shut down the government or they are going to default uh, on uh, America's debt. We're not going to negotiate under the threat of a prolonged shutdown uh, until Republicans get 100 percent of what they want. We're not going to negotiate under the threat of economic catastrophe that economists and CEOs increasingly warn would result if Congress chose to default on America's obligations. Now, uh, the other thing I heard over the weekend was this notion that uh, Congress doesn't have the capacity to end this shutdown. Uh, the truth of the matter is there are enough Republican and Democratic votes in the House of Representatives right now to end the shutdown immediately with no partisan strings attached. The House should hold that vote today. If Republicans and Speaker Banner are saying there are not enough votes, then they should prove it. Let the bill go to the floor and let's see what happens. Just vote. Let every member of Congress vote their conscience and they can determine whether or not they want to shut the government down. My suspicion is, my very strong suspicion is that there are enough votes there. And the reason that uh, Speaker Boehner hasn't called a vote on it is because uh, he doesn't apparently want to see the government shut down end at the moment, unless he's able to extract concessions that uh, don't have anything to do with the budget. Well, uh, you know, I think the American people simply want government to work. And there's no reason that there has to be a shutdown in order for the kinds of negotiations Speaker Boehner says he wants to proceed. Hold a vote. Call a vote right now. And let's see what happens. The second thing Congress needs to do is to raise the debt ceiling next week so the Treasury can pay the bills that Congress has already spent. Uh, that's what uh, most Americans do if they buy something. If they buy a car, if they buy a house, uh, if they put something on a credit card, they understand they've got to pay the bills. This is something routine. It's been done uh, more than 40 times since Ronald Reagan was president. Uh, it has never before been used uh, in a, the kind of ways that uh, the Republicans are talking about using it right now. 